Hello, hi, my name is uh, Dr. Tan Chun Hai. I'm a general surgeon currently practicing at Glen Girls Hospital, surgery care, bariatric, and general surgery clinic. My specialty is in keyhole surgery, bariatric and metabolic surgery, and upper GI surgery. I've been uh, specially trained in uh, Taiwan and I've been doing these procedures for close to 10 years. I'm also the current president of OMSSS. Now, if you're looking at these uh, videos, uh, you'll be interested to find out more about bariatric and metabolic surgery and hopefully I can impart more knowledge to you before you go and consult your doctor with that. So bariatric surgery is actually a terminology used for weight loss surgery. Now the terminology for metabolic surgery is also because with the weight loss, you have resolution of your obesity correlated factors such as hypertension, uh, cholesterol, uh, obstructive sleep apnea, diabetes, and so on and so forth. So the most accurate term that we use now is bariatric and metabolic surgery. One of the most common uh, misconceptions is that bariatric surgery is dangerous. Now, we have statistics to show that uh, bariatric and metabolic surgery under a trained bariatric surgeon the rates are as low as commonly uh, done procedures such as gallbladder surgeries, uh, total knee replacements. My patients will usually go through a series of uh, risk reduction surgeries when we are planning for surgery. So first steps will be to have a consult with a bariatric surgeon like myself and I will discuss with you the options of uh, weight loss, types of procedures that are most commonly done in Singapore and assess whether you are a suitable candidate to proceed with uh, bariatric and metabolic surgery. If all goes smoothly, we will coordinate your care and you may be seeing a multidisciplinary team of uh, specialists if required, such as the dietitian, the psychologist, the cardiologist, the respiratory physician, the endocrinologist, as and when is required. Most patients will be admitted on the day of surgery. It will be done through keyhole operation, which means the scars are smaller, less invasive and is less pain and shorter hospitalization stay. Now the duration of the surgery will depend on the complexity of the case. Uh, most of the time will be about one hour, two hours, but I think the duration is not the most important. The most important is to complete the surgery safely. After the surgery, there should be minimal pain. Uh, most of my patients will be able to get up to go to the toilet within a few hours after surgery. They will be able to get up and walk around the ward, even to the gardens within the next one to two days. And discharge is usually planned in one to two days after the surgery. Now, after the surgery, it is very important to follow the dietitian's instructions. And I will also see the patient within one to two weeks after the surgery. Now, post-op, we may be able to see changes in the weight, ranging from five to 10% within weeks, um, 10 to 20% within months of the surgery and longer, we should be able to see long-term uh, changes provided the patient keeps to dietary and lifestyle changes as recommended by myself as well as the dietitian. Now, over long term, we'll see an improvement in your cardiovascular related uh, events such as stroke, heart attack. We also see an improvement in obesity related cancer. We also see an improvement in uh, psychological uh, aspects in some of my patients. They have improved confidence in their social, uh, marital and uh, sexual life as well. A surgery is not a magic bullet to weight loss. It is actually a start. The first step in a million step journey, I will walk you through the remaining of the journey. And it's very important to make commitment to lifestyle and dietary changes so that we can achieve the maximum effect of the surgery. Now, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to consult your bariatric surgeon to ask more about the procedure. If you like this video, remember to like, share and subscribe Medical Channel Asia. My name is uh, Dr. Tan Chun Hai, signing off.